This video will show you how to use lights in Cinema 4D and how to render your scene. To create a light, just click on this symbol here. To move the light, activate the Move tool and change the position of the light. You will see in real time how the light is affecting your scene. You can change the type of light from an Omni light to another type, like a spotlight. And with a spotlight, you can use the rotation tool to make it cast in a desired direction. You can also change the light from a spot to, say, an area light. You can change the shadow type to, say, a soft shadow. You can even change the size and rotation to make a light cast in a different direction or move it around a little bit for a different effect. To render, just click on this symbol here, which renders the scene in the editor view with actual render settings. Here is a scene that is actually finished. It's the same scene, but the lights have been implemented properly. If you click on the render settings, you can see that you can change the output resolution of the picture, how many frames and which frame you would like to render, and of course, you can change where you would like to save your renders, and which format they should be in. You can also add advanced effects here, such as global illumination. Global illumination includes the calculation of reflected light, so it does not only come from the implemented light source in your scene, but also from light reflecting off of walls or other objects in the scene. In this scene, global illumination is activated. When you click on this little icon here, it renders the scene not in the editor view, but in the picture viewer. The picture viewer renders the final resolution of your scene and it saves the picture to your desired file path. The picture viewer also includes a history of renders, where you can see all of the images you've already rendered. You can compare them, and you've got the layers if you've activated multipass, and you also have a filter option. If you enable the filter, you can change the saturation or the brightness, the contrast, and exposure. When you're happy with the result, you can save it. We've covered a lot of features in these videos that hopefully you can use on your own projects. We hope you enjoyed watching the videos, and of course, we hope you have a lot of fun with Cinema 4D.